I'm Johnny, and it's time for Macrame. My first attempt at a video blog was a little big. All right, it was huge. It was 800 words huge. That's far, far too long. I was going to talk, or rather ramble, about learning, and I thought I had a great first draft, but when it came time to reading it to Shell... <laughs> Given the reaction I got from all the wonderful new viewers, I wanted the next one to be super cool. I got some great feedback from trusted friends. I wanted the next one to really blow people's minds. I kind of brain cracked the crap out of it. Brain cracking is a Zay Frankism, and that's where you spend so much time thinking about whatever new project you have that it becomes this wonderful thing of beauty inside of your head, and any attempt that you actually try to execute it becomes a total flawed piece of crap. Instead, I'm going to talk about perfection and about the fact, quoting Hemingway here, that the first draft of anything is shit. Look, if you're an artist, you just have to get emotionally involved in whatever it is you do. That's just the nature of art. Art, or at least most good art, needs the work of really passionate individuals that get involved with what they're doing. This passion, this love for the work, will get you really deeply involved with your shitty first draft. And by you, I really mean me. So much that you, and again, I mean me, get so wrapped up in how awesome it's going to be, you kind of forget how crappy it is. There are two keys, one of which is to make the shitty first draft part of your process. Missing the mark is just a thing that is the shitty first draft. Laugh about it. It's not that you just miss the net for a winning goal. Hey, wait a second, did I just sports analogy? It's a slow, methodical, zooming in on perfection on what the work is really supposed to be. The second key is to find good critic. That someone doesn't have to be involved in the kind of art that you're making. They just have to enjoy it. You're gonna need somebody who's honest. That someone needs to be a court jester. Someone who's not afraid to laugh about your ugly work and to point out the words that you probably already know are there. I'm lucky. I married mine. And it's gonna hurt. The critique, not the marriage. They're gonna call out the blemishes that you tried to skip over when you were looking through it, or God forbid that they're gonna tell you that ring of red covered with a pearly iridescence is really just a pimple. Try not to take it personal, but no, it's gonna be hard. That passion that was necessary to get the work off the ground in the first place, that passion is gonna trip you up now. And again, I mean me. Don't detach yourself from that passion. Just remember to work towards the good of the work as a whole and cut that shit. Get passionate about the finished work, not its humble beginnings. There's an interaction with perfectionism here that's worth noting. If you have an opportunity, watch Shell take a picture. She will set up a picture perfectly and take it and then spend possibly the next 20 to 30 minutes retaking it, retaking it, retaking it again, getting every last little detail correct, moving this piece of background over there, just perfect. Apologizing the whole time. She takes care of every last detail. It's shown me that perfection is not letting the work go just yet. It's taking that extra step, that extra mile to make it that much better each time. Know that perfection, or rather close enough, and that's important, is reached on the final mark of the paper. That zeroing in of iteration after iteration after iteration after iteration. So a new episode is coming soon. Maybe even one about learning, but for now, you just get the shitty first draft. Learning is fun. So I wanted to make my own video blog, but since it's my video blog, it'd be about Neuroscience, music production.